My name is George Ball. I'm an assistant professor in the Operations and Decisions Technology Department at the Kelly School of Business at Indiana University. And I study causes of product recalls across uh, multiple industries. The exciting thing about this new study is that it's looking at causes of automotive recalls in North America. And what's unique about that is up until this point, uh, practically all of the academic literature on recalls looks at effects of recalls, consequences, stock market effects, customer loyalty effects. And this is the first study to our knowledge to use empirical data from real factories to identify managerial decision-making variables that may lead to manufacturing-related recalls. We found in this study that there are two important variables that may lead to uh, manufacturing-related recalls. Utilization being at very high levels, essentially working factory personnel overtime, and complexity in the factory, uh, which comes from high levels of variety, either product variety or plant level variety. So the study uses seven years of North American automotive factory level data and seven years of associated manufacturing recalls and find that when a plant works on sustained levels of overtime, they're likely to have eight additional recalls over the course of these seven years which leads to $167 million for the automaker. That number comes from a $20 million per recall uh, finding that we have in the study as well. We also find that variety in the factory can be problematic for manufacturing recalls. For every four additional options put on a car, that leads to two additional recalls in the course of seven years. Each of the co-authors in the study had a different perspective and motivation uh, for the research we did. My personal one came from about a decade as a manager in a production line and I had to live with many recalls that affected customers, investors, and our employees very negatively. So I was very motivated when I came to do my PhD to understand causes of recalls to help prevent them. Uh, the variables in this study relate directly to that experience because oftentimes as a manager of people in the production line we found that when we worked them very hard on overtime in an environment where there was a lot of complexity usually caused by a lot of product variety we saw additional problems and significant quality defects which would often be uh, come across through a recall in the field. And so it was something that I'd seen in practice and I really wanted to understand if using uh, robust econometrics and empirical methods we could identify it as a statistical relationship in, in practice. So there are several implications of this study. I think the most important one is that managers need to think about uh, two things that they can balance in the factory floor to help avoid recalls. If you're going to work your factory on significant overtime, it would be wise to reduce the level of variety and the level of complexity on the production line because we found that when things get more complex, people need extra time to absorb that complexity. And the opposite holds true as well. If you have to have a lot of variety on the production line and a lot of complexity, it would make sense to do so at a time when the utilization rate is lower in the factory. So future research in this area expands upon causes of product recalls. We're looking into medical device industry, into the pharmaceutical industry, and we're trying to identify additional factors that may help both regulators and managers to avoid product recalls. For instance, we're looking at Food and Drug Administration practices when they inspect medical device plants and how their inspectors can become more objective and help identify problems. In that study, we find that the more experience an inspector has within a facility, the less likely they are to identify real problems and the more likely that factory is to have recalls in the future. This is just one example of where we believe this stream of research can go.